Hi ladybugs, Yolanda here and to today we're going to make this little guy although I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger and uh, this is my layered folder I suppose you would say and I've gathered my supplies as usual um, I've got a piece of cardstock here <coughs> you know I like to use my cardstock you know it's firm and it's great for this but use whatever you have in your <coughs> my throat in your stash <clears throat> if you want to use your normal uh, bond paper or typing paper then you can do that too but I would double it okay because you know it's quite flimsy but maybe in this case not so much because it is layered yeah okay <laughs> so uh, it's just a 12 by 12 it's what I have I use whatever and I'm gonna make another Christmas one and as you can see just whatever I've just gone out and grab so I'm just gonna that's not Christmas that must go away and I've got this little guy which is a die cut it's quite nice I may or may not you know what it's like use them and I've got these again because I used it on here but yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes because you know I don't like to make two things exactly the same so and this is just a packet you know that I've got my some Christmas papers in so, and again, you can use straight design paper. Uh, th this is bought ages ago, so it's a very thin one. So I'm not going to use, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can use it. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing, I'm going to use this, and I am going to make it a little bit bigger. This one, the measurements, let's see what this is. This is like almost three and a quarter. And this one is, uh, I suppose we can measure it from the top actually, three and a half. So if I measure this one, more or less. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this into strips. I'm not in going to measure specific sizes. I'm just going to do it. What if we do like maybe, oh, I think a four. Let's, yeah. Let me see how wide the, this one is. Almost a four. So let's just make it four inches wide one. and let's make our first one you saw how I did it and again I'm not gonna go on sizes so let's just do like so and make it a little bit more okay I do like to use you know that my scoring board if you don't have one just just fold it but uh, Oh my goodness, where's my scorer? I mean my bone folder. Ugh. Of course it's not here. But I do have... It was here a second ago. Anyway. Let's do like so. Let me make sure. There. Yeah, there. So that's about four actually. I'm just going to use this thing. In folded. It just gives you a nice clean fold. Make sure the sides are together. And then I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch, more or less, to make my little bit less. So that's number one. So now, that's not enough to make number two. So I'm going to do four again. And this one should also measure a four. You see? Yeah. Okay. And then I am going to put, let me see how I did this, you know, I forget, I make so much stuff. Did I make it a bit smaller? Um, I'm just trying to see how I did this. Can you believe it? I made it the other day and I've forgotten already. <laughs> I'm great at tutorials, aren't I? Just absolutely bloody wonderful. Okay, let's fold that. Um, Sorry, let me just have a look. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to fold this at about here. Yeah, I'm just going to mark it. There. Put it on my scoring board, and it's actually three and one eighth, I think that is. Maybe I'll tell you now in a moment. Oh, let me measure it on here because it's got all the ints in it. Three and a quarter. Okay. 
same thing, just kind of line it up. And that should fit nicely there. And let's just mark the cut. And cut like so. And this one will go here. See that? So what I'm going to do now is make my first <clears throat> tab. And I'm just going to cut it. Do my little angle thing. Take this back again. And line it up. And cut my other angle. See that? And then, oopsie, that flew onto me. Then I'm going to take this one, more or less. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. Let me see what I did here. Mm -hmm. I actually made it a little bit smaller there. So, what I'm going to do... I've actually done this... Yeah, I'm going to fold it a little bit smaller. Let's do it this way. Uh, let's do it on here. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. All right, so that's going to go there, but I want it a little bit smaller. So now I'm just going to refold it more or less a quarter. Again, it's, it's uh, whatever size. Here we go. So that's going to fit there. Yes. And have I confused you? <laughs> I think I have to redo this whole thing. So that's almost three inches there. The f where I folded it. And about a, that's like an inch, but it's fine. So once again, I'm going to cut it now. And I'm going to sort of measure with my pencil again. So lay it down because you don't want to cut in the same place, right? So about there to make the next tab. And maybe, I don't know, about there. So I'm just going to cut. And then I'm going to do my little angle thing. I'm going to do the same thing here. Why is that... Um, yeah, what am I doing? I'm just gonna like so, more or less. Cut, and then cut the rest off. There, now I've got the two. Can you see that one? So one is slightly smaller than the other. And then, we are going to make, I wonder if I can use these bits. I think they're a bit too small. Nah, I'll probably use these. I might be able to use this piece. So once again, on this one, yeah, I'll use this piece. I think it will be, and it won't be enough. <laughs> so place your other piece of paper on the smaller one. Mark where you where the fold is. You can measure it. I'm not going to measure. This is how I do it. Okay. And you, I'm going to score it. Like so. And then I'm going to cut. I'm still going to leave a little bit there for a tab. go so I've got my little tab one two you can do two layers you can do three layers really doesn't matter and I think this one is too big here so I am going to nip off just a little bit there so I suppose I'm gonna make this tab right at the end 
So I'm going to mark where this one, see that? Just going to mark right here. So I know I am going to cut up to the, oh, that point. Oh, let me make my angle first. There we go. And then cut the rest off. Bring this back to cut my matching angle. Here we go. I just need to do more of an angle there. Can you see that? So I just need to correct that. And it's too long. So I'm just going to cut it with my scissors. Hang on. There we go. So now we have the three. Okay. So we can actually go ahead, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Let me get rid of all this. Otherwise, you're going to see all this scattered everywhere. But like that, let's get these pieces away from my 12 by 12 cardstock. And just put that there. I never throw anything, bits and pieces away until I've actually finished this. Yeah. Now, number one. So, you're just going to put a thin line of glue on both sides. Like so. And down there. And then... I just go with my finger because I don't want it to spread anymore and I'm gonna put a little line there because this forms the pocket then I'm gonna glue that right here how about that huh then I'm gonna do the exact same thing I think that one's a bit long I shall cut it in a mo Only glue up to your tab, hey? We say that a lot in South Africa and Zimbabwe, hey. <laughs> For my foreign ladies that are watching. Just a little bit more. There we go. And we are going to stick that on top. Okay, so all you have to do is make each one slightly smaller than the other. And you know what? If you are using copy paper, you can actually do more layers um, if you want because it's thinner paper. But this is thick and it's going to be bulky in my um, journal. Or if you want to make a bigger one, a wider one, you can actually put little notes and shopping lists and menu plans and stuff inside here to, take, to do your Christmas shopping with. So you can have a section for uh, grocery shopping. Then you can have your section for gifts. Whoever you're going to buy gifts for. And maybe your menu on this. See, okay. <laughs> so you can use it loosely as well. So I think I just want to take off a little bit on here. Yeah, I think that's great. So there you have your tab. And let me just make sure this is glued properly. I don't want it coming apart. It's not there. I'm looking for my bone folder. Can you believe it? Yeah, so I'm going to use this guy just to make sure it's stuck. And it is. Perfect. Oh, oh. There. So in here now, you should have a pocket. So that hasn't quite glued down there. I wish he didn't put enough glue. And let me put another one and stick it down. So you have your little pocket there. How cool is that, ladies? Yes, right. And now, of course, it's a matter of decorating it as you want. So I'm, some of these are digital kits. Some of this, as you saw, is um, 
paper. So let me just uh, really, really cute. Maybe I'll use that as a tag. What are my dogs doing here? Hmm? And this paper, this is very pretty. And I have this one. And let's see. Oh, look got that one uh, well there's plenty I'm not going to be using that although you can I'll show you how you can use your um, what you might call it so I think I'm going to start with this one on the front let me just see what I did here yeah this one on the front and we're just going to measure it with the no man not that Here's my pencil. This is lovely. If you want to distress it, then, you know, you can. I'm not going to. Although I might distress it afterwards. So I'm going to cut it all the way down. Wherever I measured it. Where is my mark? Oh, there it is. There we go. And then cut a strip. Now this unfortunately is not double sided. So let's get on and glue this piece down. Well, let's not waste any time. And then, oh, oh, just a thought, Ugh, this. You can also round your edges if you want to. Or use one of your fancy corner cutters if you have one, you know. Look at that. And then I think I'm going to use the green. This is an old Stamperia. Peace. So let's mark. See? And I'm going to cut all the way down. Because I'm going to use both pieces. Or the same paper on the inside, you know. So it's the same. That goes there. Let's cut it. Let's cut another piece. To go that side and that side. Glue or tape, whatever your preference is.
Okay, so we've done the pouring bit. Now, <clears throat> all we're gonna do is make a little pocket, which is what I did on this one, on the front. And for that, probably I can use, oh, look at that, so pretty, even though the trees are the wrong way around. But you know what, this will also make a very nice tag. So I am gonna- Battery that's flat. I just cut a piece of lace. And I'm just going to cut this in half and stick it on. I'll do the last minute embellishments afterwards, but just to show you the basics of how I did this and can even scrunch it up a bit. Okay. And then on the inside on here, I made two little pockets and these were the sentiments that came with this kit that I bought. So we can use, I'm just having a look here, no not that, can't use that, but I think this red one will be nice. So I'm just going to again measure a small pocket, about there I think should be fine, cut it, and I'm just going to use the same paper I think for both sides yes so that's a little one there let's cut that one and one for that side so that'll go there and there Again, a thin line of glue because, you know, it is a tiny little thing. It's not a big folder that I'm doing. And yeah, and yeah. So there you have your little pocket. Just stick another tag inside or a little cutout. Whatever suits your fancy. Now there, there, and there, to the end, there we go, little pocket, you can take it to the edge if you want, I haven't on these ones, on this one I did take it to the edge, hey, why aren't you sticking? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't want to stick down. Maybe I didn't put enough glue, huh? Let's try again, shall we? There we go. So I'm just going to take these out. Look at that. It really looks nice. I'm going to take it out from here and stick it in there. Very pretty. And then what did I do on this one? This one I left bare, so you can either put photographs. I did put a little... Maybe I can even do like a tuck spot here. Why not? Let's, shall we do a tuck spot instead of... Uh, that is just a piece of fabric, by the way. I cut out from an old, old Christmas tablecloth that I have. I've had it for a while, since the early 90s, actually, like 94. <laughs> but it's seen its better days, and I'm so glad I didn't throw it away. Because I just loved this paper I mean the tablecloth so all I did I've got it right here let me show it to you <laughs> this is the tablecloth here yeah? and it's full of stains and whatever but I couldn't like I said couldn't bring myself to throw away so what I've been doing I've just been I cut out the holly um, but anything, there's lots of pretty cutouts that I can use here. You know, on journals or whatever. And, um... Uh, what was I doing here? I was doing something. <laughs> Where's my little... There it is. There, this thing I'm actually going to quickly distress. Because I think it needs to be distressed against this darker paper. Or you can leave it open and you can put two little photographs in there. 
That would also be nice. You know what, I think I'm going to leave this, I'm not going to put a tag, I'm going to keep this so I can use it for photographs. Now on this one, this paper the cutest. And this one, again, it's a cutout. Um, my poor guy, I think I'm going to have to chop his ears off. And then I made this little envelope. So I don't know if I've shown you. I don't really want to make it from this because it's so bulky. So I'm going to use my digital kit. Let me choose some paper. What do I have here? Just bits and pieces really. Look at that. So pretty. Oh look, I've got a little, I might put that. There's another card. That won't make a pocket. This one will make, no, it's not big enough for an envelope. What about that one? This one might do. Uh, is it wide enough? Not really. But I'll show you what I'm going to do because it's not wide enough and you know what? I don't want to waste that paper. So I went and grabbed another piece of uh, digital paper to make my envelope. So this is how I'm going to do it. Let me show you. So we know that it's going to be this wide. Right? And it's going to be like so. So now I need to add the flaps for either side. So basically half an inch, more or less, okay? And um, then, let me just cut it now. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it by that and add an inch for, so I can do the flaps. So it actually, this measurement is actually three and a quarter. So I am going to make it, a, uh, no, 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 three and three quarters. So I'm going to add an inch, which is four and three quarters, and I'm just going to cut. And then I'm just, I am going to fold it like so. Actually, should do it this way. It's just easier. Very quick way to make a simple envelope. So we know we want the envelope to reach about there on the paper. Yes. That should be, yeah, that should be fine. So I'm just going to fold it. And then I know. And then I am going to get my scoreboard. Let's put that there. Listen, I even have some Christmas juice. It's pomegranate, beetroot, and other veggie juices there. <laughs> so, um, okay, let's do it this way. Actually, let's do it this way. Because now we want the, the flap, right? And I'm just going to score so I get it straight because otherwise I will not get it straight. Then I'm going to fold it. Yes. And that's kind of straight. You know, sometimes the paper is not uh, perfectly straight, but I'm not too worried about that. Then I'm going to see where do I want, how, how long do I want the flap. I mean, you can have a flap. Let's make a long flap, shall we? So I'm going to measure to about there. Maybe I'll change my mind and cut it afterwards. <laughs> so, I am going to make a long flap. So there's the beginnings of my little envelope. And then I'm going to score half an inch. And I flip it. I like to flip it. You can, you know, measure your half inch there. Very simple way to make envelopes and then I'm going to cut off this on the bottom half let's just cut that off let's do an angle there uh oh don't tear it like I just did <laughs> and let's cut off the other side Yes, and a little angle. So now you've got your fold-up piece and you've got your side flaps. And you've got your big... Um, so you can make your flap um, on your envelope any size you want, hey guys. You can make it a short one, medium, or long one like I'm doing. So I'm cutting there. 
and then this time I'm going to cut straight instead of at an angle because when I I want these angles to be the same and the bottom ones it doesn't matter because you don't see them so let's just cut that there right and um, then where is it? Yeah, these two flaps. You can also leave it straight. I never do. I'm just going to fold it across and just so that I get them almost perfectly the same. Huh? Like so. Okay. Now, how easy was that? So, if you want now, you can make a fancy edge. You can use a fancy punch to make a fancy edge. Or I am just going to use my corner punch I'm going to use a 10 millimeter right there yeah it doesn't always cut nicely on, on the copy paper you know and then you have to go and cut it by hand and there and there's your envelope and we're just going to make sure 100% that it does fit and I haven't got it wrong and it is perfect look at that I just need to yeah here we go and you know what I'm going to make this I'm going to cut off a little bit there just a little bit you can leave it all the way up if you want now normally I would distress this but I'm not going to because yeah it takes it's like watching paint dry on camera now how easy was that guys to make an envelope I don't know if I've done a tutorial on this before and then I'm just gonna glue it through my little flaps in this one like so so cute I think I can put that away. I'm trying to be tidy. <laughs> and then I'm going to glue this on here in pocket form. So I'm just going to go down the sides. Oops, that was a big block. Blob. And this side. So I have another pocket there. If you don't want another pocket, then, you know, just glue the whole thing down. And let's just score it. How cute is that? You know, this little guy will go very nicely on here. I quite like that. I'll probably add more stuff. I'm just going to glue my little faux. So cute. <laughs> Look at that. And I found my glittery. These are Heidi Swap. And I do normally use my thing to try and get it as center as I can. hole they're very nice to have and that can also go in there so um, we do want some sort of closure for here so maybe I will use this guy it's a bit big I think I'm gonna take off a little bit at the top there and maybe a tiny bit at the bottom that's about right this one I have to just for closure for the envelope you know what I actually want to quickly let me round these edges at the top it's getting fussy now hmm 
There you go. Yeah, I think that looks better. And there, there's my closure. I've got this thing in my mouth. If you And then you can dress it up as you want. I mean, we can put some lace there. And we need to make a little card for inside. What can we use? A journaling card. Why not just use the leftover... I've got some leftover card stock here. So, again, just measuring. I don't know if you can see that. You know how I would do my measures if you've been with me for a while. I hope so. <laughs> and there. So I'm going to cut. Cut, cut, cut. And I think that should be okay. Let's test it. perfect fit and I'm gonna do my edges which one shall I use a bigger one slightly bigger pretty 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 and I'm going to use yeah this one you know all these little things are good ways to to use up your bits and pieces if you're anything like me <laughs> I keep even small pieces I'm actually it's ridiculous I am going to quickly distress this oh but first let me cut my corner if I can do it nicely uh, not too bad not too bad not too shabby there we go that'll do I like to use lots of glitter when I do Christmas stuff. I'm not going to use it now because, you know, it takes time to dry. But it is Christmas, therefore we allowed lots of glitter. <laughs> or tinsel. You know what, you can also use tinsel. You know that thin one. Anything. Anything goes. Let's just stick that on there. Okay. Flatten, shall we? And I'm just again going to distress here. So cute. I would normally distress the back, but you know what? Um, because it's for the camera and also what I would normally do I don't think did I do it on this one you see here I use a little bit of a golden glittery washi tape and a bit of lace um, and here I also use glitter on the edge and um, if you have those tiny weeny bells I would stick them on maybe on one of these I don't have them I need to go and buy some actually my Christmas stocks are very low. Um, I was sick for most of November, unfortunately, so I got very behind on, you know, stuff I wanted to do. So look at that. That fits in there. And I did show you on my tutorial how to cut things. And here I made another little... Look at this guy. These are so beautiful, these images. You can stick this oh, on here. Let me let me get some let me get some washing. Where's my little golden washi? No, there's no blue in there. Um, what else? No, 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 no. I'll use this one. This is perfectly fine. Let's get that out the way. So right here where you can see there's no paper there this is kind of the back of it i like to use glue with my washi tape because i just find you know it doesn't always stick so nicely i have to get some more glittery stuff and then i stuck a bit of washi on there 
can't have blank spots. And there. And this, as you can see, it's a little bit bigger. So I'm just, uh, you know what, I'm actually not even going to, I was going to cut it off. But I'm just going to put some glue, make, so make sure it sticks properly. And then fold it over instead of cutting it off. There we go, look at that. So it's on the other side. I didn't put the glue on very well. I always rush during these tutorials and then... Oh, come on. Oh, now I'll get a great big glob. Let's try again, shall we? You are not sticking. Can you believe it? You know what? I'm not going to fight with you. If I wasn't doing a tutorial, I would stick it properly. But because it's fighting with me, <laughs> I'm going to just cut it off. I'm not even cutting it off nicely. Look at that. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. Look how pretty that looks. So that is the front. So we have that. We have this, which I think I'm just going to put photographs, so I'm not doing anything fancy on there. And then this one, I don't really have a cutout. I'm just trying to see. But I mean, you can see what I've done here. I used a cutout. And then I did it, two more cutouts here, and I just stuck it. Oof, that my door banging onto my little journal card ribbon lace and a little flower as well as glitter i'm gonna have to cut bambi's ears look at it oh my goodness oh it's gonna look weird if i cut his ears okay so uh, on this uh, i am gonna put Some more washi tape. I'm almost out of my glittery one. I'm gonna have to get some more. Ugh. We never stop buying, do we, ladies? Hmm? There we go. Okay, it's a little bit off there, but you know what? It's okay for now. So yeah, you can embellish this any way you want. You can even use, you know, some beading. That's also so pretty. And then of course you can cut out. I did show you in my other um, tutorial. So this is a pocket here. So I'm just gonna put this guy inside. So you have that and then you can just lay them out nicely. You know what, I'm going to use the pockets from here, why not? Just to show you. So we have here, that pocket there. Let's say we put this guy in here as well. So whatever you want to put inside, you put inside. Alright, I'm going to do a quick... Um, no, I don't want that one there. I think maybe this one to show you once again how I cut for the for here. So all you're gonna do, we know we want it that long. Okay, and you're gonna go right to the edge. Okay, so let me cut that first. Or oh, wait, I'm gonna cut this there. Right to the edge there. I'm just gonna use my scissors see if I can cut it straight and then I know it's got to be there then you take it again put it back Let's just take yeah take that guy out so it's flat 
So you measure the angles. See there, I'm measuring here and a little pencil here and then same thing here so my angle is there and I can't see it at the top let's just move it. get this out the way too best to do this without anything inside and then there so wherever you've measured can you see that pencil markers there and there just grab your scissors and there and then that should fit almost perfect on there let's just quickly so that is how you cut your insert or whatever for your tabs That there, right to my corners. I hate edges lifting. It's not 100% straight, but it's okay. So there we have it, ladybugs. Our little Christmas um, layered folder with the tabs so you would of course go and do all your other tabs and there you have this cutie pie to stick in your journal or stick in your bag if you want with notes and lists and whatever it is that you need for Christmas and put some lace I mean I, I'm sure you all know how to well decorate it because I've seen some of your work so I know you guys are good <laughs> all right thanks so much for watching and I will be back with another layered folder tutorial bit of a mouthful take care ladybugs see you soon ciao now bye bye